beautiful. Yeah, turn it off. Okay, so inside this, there is an accurator, and that's the metering device. Now, when you unscrew that from that thread, you get access to the accurator, which is in there. But up there, you won't be able to see, but there's actually a strainer in there, which I'm going to remove because, quite frankly, I think they get blocked up. So that's what I'm gonna do. So that's the strainer that I pulled out. As you can see, like if that's in the pipe, it's a 3.8 pipe. That can definitely affect your pressures. So every time I got an old system open, definitely check that been caught out before. Yeah, so just to clarify, um, this job had a compressor that had a heaps high head pressure and it eventually started tripping the breaker. So I've replaced the compressor. Now the replacement for this particular unit um, had it was designed for 407 and it had polyester oil. So I've had to do an oil change on this before changing it so it's mineral and then so I've changed that changed the fans changed the two capacitors I've taken the strainers out of all the accurators and put a filter dryer in and yeah, I've also cleaned the return air filter. Oh, actually, I replaced the return air filters and cleaned the indoor coil. So I've done all that and now it's absolutely purring, which is good. So I took some oil out of this Copeland scroll that is like 20 plus years old um just to see what oil looked like but to be honest with like slight discoloration it looks all right but this one is yeah like the original compressor that runs on mineral oil and it's like 20 years old roughly maybe more and now it just trips the breaker on startup so yeah, I was just curious what the oil looked like, but it actually doesn't look that bad to be honest. 